Today, people around the world are raising awareness and funds to advance Alzheimer's Association care, support, and research programs. It's a day of action called the longest day, held on the day with the most light to fight the darkness of Alzheimer's. WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown introducing us to a Tennessean dedicated to making a change. With more than 5 million people in the U.S. currently living with Alzheimer's, many advocates are spending the longest day of the year raising awareness and funds for Alzheimer's research. For people like Denise Gerlach, this day is personal. I lost my mom to Alzheimer's in 2003. Um, she suffered with it for 10 years. My dad was her caregiver, and it's, it's heartbreaking. It is absolutely heartbreaking to watch somebody that you love just fade away and not know who you are anymore. The disease not only took Denise's mother, but her grandmother, her uncle, and two aunts. It runs really strong in my family, so it's important to me that we find a cure. In honor of her mother and other relatives that lost their battle to Alzheimer's, Denise will be using the 16-hour day to bake some of her mother's favorite sweet treats, sharing the recipes online, all to raise awareness for the millions of people living with Alzheimer's and the caregivers who the support them. With a tight lid, you can keep them in the refrigerator. It says up to two weeks. They don't last in my house that long. My mom um, had a big sweet tooth, so we're using a lot of her recipes. Denise says being able to share these recipes helps connect her with other people across the country that have been through the same thing. And the most amazing thing, I've had so many wonderful people reach out to me. I have this special feeling that when, when I put the word out and other people who have gone through it have, have you know, given me support and encouragement, I'm trying to pay that back to others as well. In Knoxville, Jordan Brown, WATE, 6 on your side. And WATE 6 on your side is a proud sponsor of the longest day. You might have noticed that today, Ken Weathers and I are wearing purple in support of the Alzheimer's Association.